What I want to do is point out to you the various sectors that have emerged here, and I'm gonna put a spotlight on each one, and I'm gonna go slowly so that you can kind of jump out ahead and anticipate where these spotlights are gonna come up at. About four or five days later, this is what you can expect to see. There's still a bit of sectoring, so we're going to have to make some more transfers, but you'll notice there's far fewer sectors on each of these cultures than there was on the previous set. If you have a uh, species that produces rhizomorphic mycelium, that's the type you want to transfer. So if you look in the top right, the area from about 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock looks like the best place to get transfers. And from the culture over there on the left, about the same. Just about noon to 6 o'clock, you see uh, three or four rhizomorphic sectors emerging in there. So those are the ones you would want to transfer. And chances are, once you transfer from this dish, your next transfer, you'll have a monoculture. This next picture is oyster mushroom mycelium, and this is a result of four or five transfers to get to this point. In our section on spore printing, you saw me take spore prints from this exact mushroom from an outdoor grow, and you're seeing the results of about four series of transfers to get to this point. 